So I heard the call from the TA, my personal task assigner. She says, hey, hon, the lights in the fridge are out. What the hell? Okay, she didn't really add that last part. But I went to check it out, and I said, this fridge is four and a half years old. What the hell? I thought these LED lights were good for 50,000 hours or something. And just like that, the task is assigned. Should I spend several hundred dollars on a KitchenAid repair call or do it myself? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to DIY it. I can't imagine shocking myself on this project, but all the instructions come with a dire warning of death by electrocution, so I suppose I'll remove this panel, hopefully without scratching up the front of the fridge, and turn off the power. What I learned during my research is these lights are hooked up like holiday light strings. If you lose one, you can lose the whole string. About half the lights in the fridge were dim, but not fully out, while this one on the top right side of the freezer was the only one that seemed fully dead, so I'm going to start there. I'd really like to get this one out without damaging it, or the freezer. Boy, would the TA be mad if I scratched the freezer. So I started with blue tape and a plastic putty knife, but it was too wimpy. I mean, flexible. So I had to move up to a real putty knife, and more tape, and some more tape, and some special words. Yeah, usually the special words and some grunting and yanking work pretty well. Almost out. Okay, we got this thing out. Let's get it uh, disconnected and see what these parts look like. All right, this is the part I just took out of the freezer. And this is the part I bought on Amazon. Not much in the way of codes, and they don't know how to spell the word black. But let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Connector seems to fit. Let's get the power turned on. All right, that seems to work. Let's see if the TA is going to like it. Lights on on the right side of the fridge. All the lights on on the left side of the fridge. And all the lights on in the freezer. To include the one in the ceiling. And, of course, since we have that face plate off, we should vacuum out the coils. That's going to do it for this video. If you wouldn't mind, please help support the channel by hitting the like button. Also, become a subscriber. Ring the bell to be notified of new videos. And I appreciate your comments. Also, if you expand the video description, you'll find links to the tools and gear I used for this project. Thanks for watching.